it's the poor conductor here. Um, I'm just showing you one of the paintings that I um, recently completed and that's recently dry. So I had a few people talk to me and ask me how I name my paintings. And um, I name my paintings for me. I don't even like to tell the uh, potential um, customer or client what um, paintings are, what, what the names are, because I like for them to see what they see in it and name the painting for themselves. Um, and the reason being is because I think that we've lost, you know, the, the whole idea of what painting, what art is. Um, a lot of us think we know art. And, you know, a lot of people think they know art. But um, I listen to people and I'm like, mm, I don't even know if they really know what art is. You know, a person, oh, I got a hundred thousand paintings, so I know art. And the other people be like, oh, I paid, you know, I paid a million dollars for this painting, so I know art. Like, you know, like that, you know, Jay-Z, he made his um, the song about, I think it's called Picasso or whatever, where... He talk about him buying a painting and then that painting going up in value and and how it was a good investment and he's you know basically trying to invest and so on and so forth and i'm like mm, all right whatever but you know that ain't what art is about um and in fact you know if you really want to know how and why art started to go up and you know in value you know a person would buy something uh, painting and it would you know increase in value usually after the artist dies you know really it's because when you look at it when they used to look at a piece of art it would invoke an emotion it would invoke a feeling inside of them and so they would just want I need that art and so people would buy that piece of art and put it in their house so that whenever they want that feeling again they want, they want a certain emotion evoked that that picture invoked inside of them. Now all they need to do is just go look at that, 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 that painting. So what they would do is they would buy it. And if they had to pay a little bit more um, than normal or whatever, then they would. Just so that they can get that emotion when they want it. That feeling when they want it. So... I look at people, people say, oh, I know art because I got a million pictures. I know art because I may have paid a million dollars for those that picture. And then people, some people, you know, I, I say that there's levels to this thing. And, you know, but to me, if you really want to know art, it's, it's really, really deep. It's deeper than that. But, you know, you got some people that say they, they know art. How I know, how they know art is because they look at a picture and they see a, a image or they see a feel be like mm, okay if you see something in there, that's great you know you, you're supposed to then some people say oh i know art because i could i could see what the artist was trying to you know this artist he made a picture called flamingo and i could see a flamingo in that picture he the artist really was able to portray what he was trying to portray so i know art because i could see that and then other people say oh I know art because I could see beauty and I know beauty and beauty is this and this is not beauty. All of that's, you know, it is what it is. But if you really want to know art, I say if, to really know art is to look at a piece of art and whatever you see in that art, whatever you feel, whatever emotion um, you feel from that piece of art, that's yourself. That's what's inside of you communicating with you through a piece of art. Not how much a painting costs. Not what the artist was trying to portray. Not what the artist was speaking, trying to speak to you. It's what you, you speaking to yourself. With that, I'm the poor conductor. Go heal some hearts with hope.